Hello everyone. Tomorrow is Halloween and I have decorated my house with my Barbie dolls. I've selected only three for this year. For my tablescape, I have selected Teresa. She has beautiful dark hair, so she is well suited to be in this year's tablescape. I previously bought her from our thrift shop called Savers in our town here in Las Cruces, New Mexico. Teresa was made in the 1990s and I bought her for $2. I redressed and made all the dresses for the dolls with Halloween themes, which are cutouts at the bodice at the front of the dresses. Let's take a closer look at Teresa with her witch's hat, which I purchased from Hobby Lobby several years ago. And here is a closer look of her dress. I have a bat motif applique cut out at the front of her bodice and she's got a lavender bodice on that dress and the skirt is made out of gingham and orange to reflect the fall colors of the season. Her broom was also purchased at Hobby Lobby and then I have her trick or treat baskets here and this was purchased from Dollar Tree for a dollar twenty-five for four. The mantle is decorated in the same manner as my tablescape and I've got two Barbie dolls here. One is from 1991 holiday dolls that I purchased from Target for $9.99 and the other is from 2012. She is a carnival face mold Barbie doll. The carnival face mold Barbie doll was purchased from Walmart for $5.47. This Millie face mold doll is wearing the ensemble I made for her starting with her hat and also her Halloween dress that has this smiling spider. This is appliqued at the front of her dress and this dress is similar to the others. And here I also made a broom for her. And here is the third Carnival face mold Barbie and she is wearing a bat applique dress similar to the other two Barbie dolls and she is from the Mermaid series in 2012. I finished my mantle with a stranded pumpkin faced lights strung from one end to the other to give it a Halloween feel and ambiance. Have a great Halloween everyone. Stay safe and thank you for watching.